Welcome back to Building Together. Today, as you can see in front of us, we are reviewing the new <laughs> Holiday Main Street Winter Village set. Now, this one comes in as the largest Winter Village set to date in terms of the number of pieces, over 1,500 pieces. And I am joined by Autumn to help review it because after all, I'm pretty sure you wanna know if this is the right set for your family this Christmas season. It has two buildings, and usually the Winter Village sets only have one building. I think it's a really good point. If you go back throughout uh, the history of the Winter Village sets, whether it's the original Winter Toy Shop or the Gingerbread House or last year's Santa's Visit set, the typical Winter Village set has one building. They did have the uh, more festival town square set uh, that was a different builds, mini builds, kind of combined into one set. But yeah, two buildings here, plus... A trolley. A trolley. Now, we're going to unpack some of these details and see what we think are really neat about them. So let's go ahead and how about we start with the toy shop. You want to start with there? No? Where do you want to... Autumn, where would you like to start? We're going to start the music store. All right. What do you think about the music store? It has a violin, which is probably my favorite part because I've never seen a Lego violin and Dad has a case. I doubt it will actually fit in the case, but if it does, yay. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, the violin only until this point in time came with one of the, I think, Series 21 minifigs. And so it's nice to see that in set form, although it is a $100 set to get a violin. Maybe we should get more off of Brickling. I think one is enough. One is enough, all right. I don't get, like, they have a keyboard on the wall. Like, it's not even a full piano. It looks really, <laughs> like, just like a picture of a piano. Yeah, so on the inside, they do have this one-by-two keyboard print tile that is nice, but it, I don't think it's an actual keyboard. I mean, I, I think I read someone in, in a review say, oh, they've got a keyboard, and that is not a keyboard. That is, like Autumn said, a picture of a keyboard, because you got to have more than just an like, octave. I'm not a big fan of the cash register, because it just it looks fat. Why do I keep breaking this drum set? <laughs> And I think that's one of the weaknesses of this set in terms of all the really small builds is you've got this drum set that is in different parts and it's easy to knock one of the cymbals over and it's just a little clunky against the wall. But I have to say I really like what they've done here with the drumsticks. They've got a little uh, piece that looks like a trash can that you can put the uh, drumsticks in. There's one wand on the wall under the picture of the piano. Yeah, there's another one there. So they use all four Harry Potter wands that are actually drumsticks. Other instruments include a white acoustic guitar and a saxophone, which I really enjoyed seeing those in you the set. We actually gave you a saxophone. You don't need a saxophone. And you already have a white guitar. I know, but I'm building a modular music shop, and it's great to have more instruments. i got to fill it out, right? So on the bottom floor, you have the music shop. On the top floor, you have a little apartment, and there's one thing I know that you really enjoyed about the little apartment, Cookies. right? Cookies. Cookies? Oh, and there's, on the wall, there's like this sunflower yellow thing, and it looks really cool. Yeah, it's a backsplash. And there's the sand green teapot. Open your mouth. Um. <laughs> That's hot. Probably because it just came off the stove. Probably then. Uh, so there are a lot of really cool accessories. You've got the cookies, you've got some tea, uh, a teapot, you've got a backsplash piece that's really nice, a little cute table scene with a candle. And a candle. And a candle. And you've got some sand blue cabinets, tiles, and chairs. I think it looks fantastic on the inside. Really cozy, and I think kind of the epitome of a Winter Village set, right? You send those chairs then. I don't think I would fit. I won't fit either. No, no, but a minifig would. This is her house. There you go. So she does. She's had a snack now. She's ready to go? All right. Now, let's talk about the exterior of the building because it's a really fun detail. Now, 
We have a speed build of the set, so if you haven't checked that out, go ahead, watch the speed build, because when Julia built the awnings, she was raving about how creative they were, how fun they were to put together, and how effective they are I, using red 2x2 two two flag elements. I was there. And you were there? In the basement with it. Helping Mommy build? No. Just critiquing Mom's build? Watching. Watching. Ever, <laughs> ever watching. Uh, and the display, I think, also looks really nice. You can clearly see the violin and the acoustic guitar. You've got the garland underneath, a nice dark blue door which matches the dark blue windows, which have not come in a lot of sets in the past, so it's nice to get those. And I really like the sticker on the front. I know I'm not a big fan of stickers generally, but I think it's a really cool touch to have that sign. Is what? that like any of the Winter Village sets? <gasps> That's right. I forgot good eyes. So there is a picture on the second floor of the uh, music shop that is a picture of the Gingerbread House Winter Village set designed by Tiago, who has his own YouTube channel. And it was, I think he said, the last set that he designed before leaving Lego. So good catch on that. It is one of the uh, previously released Winter Village sets. The roof, I think, is kind of fun. It's got some snow, but it's also easily modified. If you wanted to take some of these buildings and put them into your city layout, it wouldn't be too hard to modify them to look more summery or non summery is that a word? Uh, Non-winter like by just removing some of the white pieces. And I think this is a cool shop that could fit into your city layout. You don't like the roof? I hate it. If I want to have like these random tiles in the snow when I feel like it's not really realistic. Maybe not. The snow doesn't make it realistic. I hate that roof. Hate that roof. All right, so we've got mixed reviews on the roof. How about we move on to the next building? Mine. Yours. It has a bunny, a built robot, a train, a tower, some pink thing, roller skates, a thingy. Cash register. Cash register. <laughs> a one hundred dollar bill. Toys are expensive, especially Legos. Hey, you know what? That would pay for this Lego set. And then it has a cool tree on the top. Lots of presents. It has a cool lamp with a red bowl, a teacup, a empty drawer, a wish list. Uh, these log. Teal log pieces are quite cool. The orange and teal rug. And on the exterior, this thing is really cool. The garland? And the, and the bird I like. And I like the logo. All right. Well, there you go. Yeah. You've got a play-by-play, blow-by-blow uh, call-out of this building, the toy shop. So a lot of details in this one. The facade, I think, looks fantastic. It's a little bit harder to modify, perhaps, than the other one. Uh, but it's, it's nice with this garland and the dark red and dark green trim, I think it looks really cool. And it was fun to build. There were some really interesting techniques that I enjoyed seeing used on this. And these, I think, arches over the windows, pretty cool. And the technique to build the sign also well done. So kudos to the Lego designer for this building. Two unique buildings, two unique building experiences. So we've talked about the two buildings. now. Let's talk about, I think, one of the staples of Winter Village sets, and that is all the little exterior builds but, and scenery. But they don't have staples in them. They're studs that connect them, not staples. Yep, <laughs> but I'm using the word staple as a different meaning than an actual stapler, like... <laughs> oh, okay, I just got stapled. Okay, so we've got a Christmas tree. What do you think of that Christmas tree? It's good. Yeah, I like building it. I think it was a cool technique. There have been a lot of Lego Christmas trees out there, so it's hard to really break new ground and how to construct Christmas trees. But I think it looks nice. I love the dark green and the green mixture. I like how they put the presents under the trees. I think that was really nice. The presents are connected to the snow, and the trees connected to the snow, and so they're connected. They're all connected, which I think is kind of nice. Um, and we also have this, I'll move this out of the way. Uh, we'll get to the trolley last. We have this little street sign. What do you think of the, the streetscape? Mm -mm. Not a fan? Mm -mm. I'm kind of with you on that. Like, it's okay. It has a mailbox. I do like the construction of this clock. Nah. And the main street thing. But it's, honestly, I, I'm not a big fan of it. 
So now that brings us to the trolley. Autumn's already playing with the conductor yet again. What do you think of the trolley? I think it's great. It has like these red seats like you would see in a real trolley. It has lots of windows. It has two entrances. It The problem about it is it doesn't have like anything for him to drive. That is a good point. There is nothing to drive. It comes with lots of seats and the nice thing about it is the red seats can actually be converted into a hub for your powered up function. So if you wanted to add that to so you can motorize your trolley, you can do that pretty easily. And it would still have seats in the front, which I think are creatively constructed. The important thing for the trolley is that the top lifts off. It's not connected by studs. You have these one by four plates Good. that allow it to hold it in place. Because when I was playing with it, it's kind of like a painter reach in there and hook them in. They can stand up and they can look out the windows and see the beautiful Winter Village stuff. And they have a little light on the top. I built the first half of the trolley. I had a lot of fun with that. I love the advertisements on it and um, some of the snot work used on both the front and back. So I, I liked building it. I thought it was fun. Yeah, this set has a lot of wood bricks because they have the turquoise ones in there and brown ones in there. Yeah, those log bricks, huh? They also have lots of brick bricks. They have lots of modified bricks and a lot of regular bricks and a lot of dad bricks. Yes, those infamous dad bricks. <laughs> yeah. We are now ready to give our ratings. Are you ready to go? You have to go first. I have to go first? Okay, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I really do like this set. I don't think it's a bad rating to give it an 8 out of 10. There are a couple things that I want to highlight. As Autumn noted, there are a lot of nice modified bricks. I think the pieces are very good. I love the windows, whether it's the dark green windows that you typically will see a lot in modulars, but not other sets. The dark blue windows are nice. The trolley was a very nice build. I enjoyed that. Uh, but there were some things that were a little bit of a miss for me. One is the streetscape. I wasn't a huge fan of it. Also, the inclusion of the trolley, I think, is an interesting choice because it's something that doesn't really work for just the set itself. It assumes that you might have some other holiday type things around, whether it's your own creations or previous Winter Village sets. And if you have those sets, it could be nice to kind of move from one to the next to have a whole streetscape or something like that. However, it doesn't come with a track. And if you want to get the powered up functions, I think you would have to increase the cost of the set almost by doubling it to get all that stuff. So that's a lot of money to add to it if you want a fully functional trolley as envisioned by Lego on the back of the box. The other thing that I really like about the set is that it comes with four instruction manuals. And I love the fact that you could open this up as a family on Christmas. Everyone could get an instruction booklet or maybe you team up depending on how many people you have over for your house or how many kids you have. And I think it's just a nice way to include everybody in the build. And those builds include different sizes and different um, levels of building techniques. So no matter who you are or how young your kids might be, there could be something for them to build. So if you were thinking about building this as a family, this first instruction booklet right here, that includes bag one, I think might be fun for some of the little littler ones in your household, just because it's kind of the streetscape, not a lot of super complicated things. The Christmas tree is a little repetitive, which might actually help them because you're doing basically the four sides of the tree all built the same way or almost identically. So that's a little bit of repetition, not super difficult um, for maybe one of the younger ones. The other builds are a combination of the buildings and the trolley. And I think that um, that could go for anybody uh, in your family and maybe your youngest could team up with somebody if that's the case. So I really enjoyed that part. So overall, eight out of 10. So how about you? What are you gonna write this at? A nine. A nine, an arched nine. A nine. And you are nine. And apparently your favorite number, especially when reviewing Christmas things, is a nine. <laughs> the thing is, like, the tree and the, like, the tree is good, but I feel like it's small for the big set. And then the street thingy is just, no. That's why I give it a nine. All right. I think that's fair. So overall, we give it an 8.5 out of 10. That is a solid score. And I think it's another nice addition to the Winter Village streetscape. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, ring the bell for notifications, and always remember to keep, keep building, building together. together.